Well, hello, Joy Seekers. It's Stephanie. I'm back after a very long break. And thank you so much for tuning in to my latest Spotlight on Joy podcast. My guest today is Wendy Hanna. Wendy is an artist from Queensland, Australia, and spends her time living between the, Go the Gold Coast and Agnes Water 1770. She is the owner of Cool and Kind Company and sells her uplifting designs about kindness on hoodies and t-shirts. And I've been following her for about a year now and connected a few months ago because I was so inspired by her designs and wanted to feature her on my podcast. So welcome, Wendy. Thank you, Stephanie. Great to be here. I'm so excited. It's great to connect with you. And I I, um, I need to actually get to Australia eventually. <laughs> I need to world travel in general. I have not been um, uh, past the United States. So. <laughs> Oh, how about you? So that's on my on I, list I of places wait. to go. <laughs> there is. There's so many, isn't there? I can't wait to travel again. Yeah. Have you, have you been to the U.S. before? I have. I went to um, L.A. and New York. Oh, nice. About 15 years ago for Christmas. Oh, nice. And that's that a good time. With my daughter. Yeah, that's, that was amazing. That's awesome. Loved that's it. a good time to go, too. <laughs> I need to go back. There's so many things I didn't do. Yeah. yeah, I it's know. It's on my bucket list. Uh, well, well, well your uh, your Australia is on my bucket list, so. <laughs> oh, you've got to come. I Best know. Best place in the world. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And um, we were just joking before we uh, started our, our interview that um, I'm I'm talking with you in the future, which is kind of cool. It's you, not you 9 are, yes. <laughs> It's not 9 a.m. over there? It's about 9 a.m.? About 9 a.m. in the morning, yes. Oh, my gosh. On the 26th. Yeah, so Saturday, so, so it's Saturday over yeah. there, and it's it's still Friday here. I'm, I'm in the Boston area, 6 p.m., so, um, yeah, yeah. It's very cool. So, anyways, well, I have some questions for you. Um, I know we were sure. chatting before, so I'm going to ask you some questions about um, what you do, and we talk about joy, too, of course, because my podcast and my blog is all about that, so we always bring joy in somehow. Um, joy is a part part of uh, our lives and um, then we'll open it up to you know if, if we talk about some other things too that's great but um, yeah I'll, I'll get started with uh, questions here absolutely and joy is just what it's all about isn't it I know it really is and so let's let's start with that question what um, <laughs> does what does joy mean to you and how do you express uh, it through your art uh, I'd love to hear uh, more about you know a, you as an artist and, and how joy is connected there. Wow. Well, joy is a really big thing for me. I think from the moment I wake up, I really need to make a conscious effort to sort of go, okay, I, I'm really going to choose joy today. Yeah. Um, throughout the day. So that, you know, that can be in the little things, just seeing a flower that's just bloomed and blossomed. But with, um, with my art, the colour is the joy. I, I've just really felt that recently. Um, I think through the pandemic, a lot of us were kind of dulled down a little bit um, with colour, what we wore, how we felt. And yeah, I just feel it's just been a real awakening that colour just really inspires me, lights up my spirit. And I find when, when we're all playing with the colour in classes or one-on-one, -on -one, it's just a happy feeling the it joyous is. feeling the fun I think color brings out the fun and the freedom it does and the joy yeah absolutely and I, I love uh, like all the different answers I get when I ask that question because there's no wrong answer everybody finds joy in their own way and to talk about color and how symbolic and inspiring it is that's so mm -hmm. wonderful for me it's music but I love I have a strong appreciation for art as well so absolutely they're all the arts aren't they Yes, they are. They're all they they all make up the arts. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah. How did you choose your your um, art style and color palette? How did that um, come about? Um, it just kind of evolves. It um, over the years it has changed. It's been very bright. It's been subtle. It's been pastel. I found recently there's a very strong peach and cream color palette. And I'm just moving back into a lot more of the aquas and oranges. So it just depends what I'm doing at the time yeah. and what people are wanting and what commission work 
So yeah, I'm, I'm just sort of moving and flowing from so all do, different varieties. Oh, that's cool. So do you do some work for other people too, as well as your own business? Yes, yes, I do commission work. Oh, that's great. And um, yeah, and the latest one that I'm working on at the moment is um, the gentleman has lost his um, partner and he uh. kind of, you know, spent months going through that with her. And he said, I just want something colourful. Wow. And, um, and I, I sort of, you know, you like to get a little bit of the feeling. And yeah. he, he just said, look, I've seen your work. I just trust you. I, I just want something really colourful. And wow. so I'm starting on that one at the moment. And, and that's a real beautiful feeling of joy coming out of the darkness. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, yeah that's going, going to have a lot of colour. Yeah. And that's your, your, you're bringing joy through that color and that like the, yeah. you love, you feel joy and you express it through color, but then you use it to help someone else too. That's such a beautiful, beautiful Absolutely. feeling. Absolutely. The, the, um, it can just come out of the canvas as you work on something. Sometimes you'll do something and you just go with that freedom and the joy. And, and it, in the end, it just comes out exactly uh, what the person wants. And, um, I have no doubt that um, that one will come out with yeah. joy in it for him. Oh, sure. Yeah, it's going to just uplift him so much. That's that's really yeah. special. It's really special. Yeah. Art, art really moves us, for sure. Art it does. Tell me a little bit about how you began as an artist, about your journey as an artist, and, um, you know, kind of what inspired you to begin with and kind of how, how, you, how it's maybe evolved a little bit over the years and... I know your color sure. has. You mentioned the color has evolved. So. <laughs> yeah, that's seasons. I've always loved art, even at school. And I've always been creative in some way, even when my kids were little, you know, either painting or doing pottery or ceramics. Oh, nice. And as, as my younger um, daughter sort of went to uni and left school, I, a friend of mine introduced me to um, silk art. Wow. And I did that for quite a few years. It was just really freeing and it just flowed and I did a lot of commissions. And from there I've kind of gone into inks and abstract and the inks that I use, that's kind of fun when you do a free yeah. ink, ink yeah. flow painting because it just flows and it reminds me a lot of the silk. And then I've just gone from there with, you know, people commissioning work and just evolving people might go they'll see a silk or an ink painting and they'll want a botanical <laughs> so yeah it just depends what people want so it's just evolved right. and grown from there right yeah. and I love the challenge of doing the different work that's awesome and your soul's kind of always in it even though you're doing something for someone else your soul kind of comes comes out of it and your artistic soul comes out in, in, like as an expression in it which is so amazing you know like it's like you're doing all these trying to create something for others but like they still get to see your your soul come out of it too which is really cool yeah yeah your heart goes into it yeah and it's really nice to sort of chat to the person that want, wants your art and right. um just sort of get the feel of the person and yeah try and bring what they want through the canvas and a bit of them as well yeah, yeah. that's awesome that's awesome what, what a what a what an amazing collaboration that's what I like to it's call good collaboration. <laughs> yeah. For sure. That's amazing. Yeah, I love it. It's a challenge at the time. Sometimes you're sort of wondering, but you just got to let go and um, leave the perfectionist at the door and yeah. have fun. Isn't that true about life? Like just, and it's so hard for us to let go sometimes. But when we it do, is. when we do, we create beautiful art. <laughs> Absolutely. Whatever it is. Yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that you um do you still do some teaching currently um currently it's been like one-on-one -on -one since the pandemic Dem right um which has been really nice or two two people um and there's been a lot of like abstract work some and and a little bit some people like a bit of structure so I'll do a watercolor class That's and we'll learn the basics and things oh, nice. like that so it's really nice. I've actually enjoyed the one-on-one -on -one with yeah, people. Yeah, that's, that's really nice too, to have that connection, yeah. that one-on-one -on -one connection with people, for sure. Yeah, so I've, I've started, um, I'm in the planning 
um, phase for next year for February because we're coming into the summer here. That's all right. The kids are on summer break, so all the mums are like, ah! <laughs> so we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll start them up in February. You got to keep and, them busy. Um, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's a lot of interest in doing that when the kids are back at school. So yeah, in the phase of that, setting um, you know. Um, venues and things like that so yeah that's exciting I've, I've done some designs and plans to um, move forward in different classes that's great yeah I was I had yeah. been doing some research and found out that you I saw an article that was written about you and how you were teaching and um, you have a few rules and and kind of a few rules that you ask your students when you were doing um, you know a more group setting of teaching and it was use colors that suit you get creative and have fun which I love. It's just sim simple, simple and joyous right there. <laughs> exactly. And um, and that's hard for a lot of people. And I understand that. Um, especially I used to do abstract classes and we would put the canvases on the ground. Oh. And just splashing paint oh, and that a lot. On, on plastic. And that's so freeing and awesome. And that that one you would think would be easy, but people were really challenged with that. Yeah. And um, yeah, so they used to be really fun classes and you could see people become free throughout just being that child again, you know, wow. getting touched almost like finger painting as a child. And you, oh, you yeah. don't sort of go, oh, is this right? You know, as a child. <laughs> there is no so right. Yeah. It's whatever you want to do, right? <laughs> exactly. And getting into that space, you know, so there's been um, a lot of fun and inspiration seeing people come out like that. I, I remember in one class, um, there was a woman who just really struggled to put paint on the blank canvas. And I was repainting. Artists always have their old trial canvases. And I was painting over one. And, and I gave her one. I said, look, this one's already got colour on it. Do what you want with it. And um, I said, look, here's a, just think three colours and play and splash and scrape. And she did. And she just became so confident wow. and loved the end result. And it was mainly her work just over the top. But she just needed that little nudge and that's on her dining room wall. Wow, that's amazing. It's just because you never know where people are coming from. Like as the students coming into the class, they probably, you know, we there's a lot of stress in life and yeah. it and that Absolutely. and that holds you back too because you're not really getting to be your freest self so that moment where it's like you're like just go for it can be exactly. so monumental in their life and like not only it could it could not only uplift them when they leave the class but it, it potentially has that like long last they're going to remember that forever that moment where like I became free right there <laughs> yeah that breakthrough yeah it was yeah. exciting to watch that's amazing. Yeah. Do you have do you have another another great student story like uh um or something else that you want to share? I always want to open I, it up in case. I, I I remember another grade twelve student. There was probably five in the class, and we just did step by step inks, and we didn't use a very big canvas, but it was free, and um just getting her to break into a bit of color, and the end result was. She absolutely loved her piece wow. and we all loved it. And that kind of inspired her from there. She put it up in her room and she sort of said, that's really helped me with where I want to go next year from wow. grade 12. And yeah, it just helped her in so many ways as to freedom in her to do what she really wanted to do from grade 12 onwards. So yeah, that wow. was really inspiring. And you guys have the same, it's the same, similar structure in school at grade 12 as a senior, is that a senior in high, high school or, or is that, is that the same? I figured it was the same. I always ask though, in case it's different, the grades are yeah. set up differently. Grade 12 is our final year of high school and they all That's get what... asked, what do you want to do next year? Are you going to university? All of those questions. Right, right. And they kind of, yeah, they kind of feel the pressure to know where they're going and what they want to do. And there's a lot of pressure on them. Yeah. So yeah, she found that she, was really. She awesome. found her passion. She found her passion after that. That's amazing. Yeah. I know that's yeah. a tough. That's a tough time. I mean, I go back twenty years if I think of that particular moment without <laughs> without revealing my age. Like that's that's where I, you know, that was a senior for me, and so that that was not 
an easy time. And I think it gets harder as the years go, like, you know, that pressure of like, what am I going to do with, with my life? And so um, any breakthrough in that or any nudge or any inspiration is just, you know, so yeah. wonderful to, to have. Yeah. yeah, just that little freedom break from the pressure and just go with what she wanted to do. Yeah. It was really awesome for her. Absolutely. Yeah. Cause you obviously have other people telling you, Oh, well, you could do this, you could do that. And like for her to actually yeah. make that decision is so, so uh, important yeah. and, and valuable. Yeah. It's amazing. So they're probably the two that really stand out to me, you know? Yeah, yeah. Those are, those are great. I mean, it's just, it's just wonderful how art can change your life, you know, like just thinking yeah. of, of, of that and, and being a part of that and actually being a witness to that and that experience that someone had. And the joy in the color. Yeah. I've always brought a lot of color into the classes. And um, yeah, that joy comes through. Yeah, that child luck joy, like you're saying, like we all we all <laughs> need that so much more often than we, we think, because I think, like I said, we get we get caught up in, in the tough parts of life and like, what do, I have, what do I have to do today? Or even just like busy stuff, like what do I have to do today? And like just all these distractions and like we forget like, how wonderful being a, a child was and like that the 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 what we might have lost along the way because of life yeah. and things and so exactly. getting to tap back into that is so important yeah. so important you feel like you said you feel that freedom you feel like like the release of what uh, an, an expression of yourself like it's because I think we, yeah because I think as as children I would say that we probably were a full a, a very full expression of who we wanted to be and we weren't afraid to show it we're just like here I am so absolutely look at this <laughs> I know we need we need more of that we gotta get we gotta get back to that more often so the more we can yeah. kind of break that open yeah. um I think and, and I think that that expression helps us get through the tough times exactly. or get because yeah. you, you tap back into that joy and that freedom so <laughs> and there's there's also those breakthroughs with people that um, need the structure. You know, you might be doing a little watercolor class um, or a one on one with a lady. I remember, and she, I picked a bit of bougainvillea, and um, just said to her, "Okay," took her through the steps, and she was sort of fighting it. And I'm like, <laughs> "Just paint what you see. Bit of light here, bit of dark there. Use this beautiful color." And at the end, she was like, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> I did that. So, I did know, that. Just little breakthroughs, just, just with color. Yeah. That's amazing. That's so amazing. So now I want to talk about cool and kind because I love every time I see in, in my Instagram feed, every time I see a quote or a little video or a hoodie or a T-shirt, I, I get inspired and it brings me joy because it's all about um kindness and 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 the whole it's cool to be kind um motto exactly. that that you have going on what inspired you to start cool and kind company and tell me more about the tell me more about the kind tribe i want to join the kind tribe <laughs> you can join <laughs> i remember um yeah kindness is a lot like joy and there's joy and kindness so it kind of all overlaps um I was going to start a clothing um, company a few years ago and then that kind of didn't happen. And I just experienced so much kindness through COVID. Um, through the pandemic, Pandemic, I um, lost my job at the beginning and just so much kindness from people and family. Mm. And it just, it just started to evolve. It was wow. just, yeah, I was thinking about starting a shop. I moved up to Agnes Water with my daughter and her family, and they were so kind. I'm so grateful. Yeah. Um, and it just it just made me aware of kindness. There was so much kindness. Kindness is everywhere. Yeah. It and is. so I just, it, it just sort of flowed from there. And my art and the um, the designs, it kind of all goes together. The the joy of the art and doing the designs and the kindness. And I'm still learning about kindness. I still <laughs> challenge myself every day. Um, but I think it's it, it's just beautiful that people can wear it and want to wear it and other people see that. And that has, has a little touch of inspiration to people. Um, yeah, it's just been like a little domino effect. And yeah. kids are loving it, adults are loving it. 
and being a part of the kind tribe is just yeah coming on board with kindness really awesome yeah it's just and and like you said it's not something that's easy all the time but I think if we we make a conscious effort to to just be aware of it and be as kind as we possibly be I mean obviously we all have bad days and we don't or we have a situation and we, we don't always you know we're not always at our best but I think if our end goal is always kindness and really doing the best we can I think that's 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 everybody agreeing on that and coming together to do that is such a powerful movement and that changes the world it is and it's exciting to see it evolve and people's reactions um it certainly is yeah I just love it I was going to go somewhere there but um (laughs) that's okay we'll we'll, we'll open it up if it comes back to you or if there's anything else (laughs) yeah I mean it's just I, I think like I think even like you said, like over the pandemic, the last few years, I think, I think it's become more, I don't know if I should say accepting, but more accepting to kind of take on these, like, this is my motto. This is my, my mantra. This is, this is me, or this is what I want to be kind is what I'm all about. Like people are, I think more, I think even more so wanting to express that, wanting to be like, this is who I am. And like, this is what yeah. I feel now. Or, cause I think we've all changed in different ways over the past few years. Exactly. And I think the world needs kindness right now. I think it's um something that, yeah, hopefully spreads like bushfires. And <laughs> I if, so. I can, if I can do a little bit, um, I love looking up quotes and I love different people's opinions on kindness. Um, I just, yeah, I'm, I'm just learning lots from different people and um, different celebrities like the Nelson Mandela's, just their beautiful, kind hearts and yeah. how they um, spread kindness in different ways. So I would love to, in one of my next stages, interview people on yeah. their idea and thoughts on kindness. Yeah, yeah that would be amazing. They have, um, there are many people that inspire me. Um, in that area, Gary V, especially. Oh is, yes, um, I know him. He is so inspiring. I'd love to meet him in person one day. I saw him uh, just before I moved up here in Brisbane. Wow! Um, in person at a seminar, and he's just so gifted and has the most beautiful heart. And uh. nearly everything he does and says comes from a kind empathy place and yeah. um, he just knows by questions thrown at him and he was just so authentic and beautiful so wow. he's one of my inspirations on kindness so I'd love to interview him one day that'd be great you know um, it's not too hard these days I feel like you know I think we all think that's so difficult but it actually I think like the more you kind of put it out there and or you never know who you could be able to kind of contact his people. I don't know how that works, but it's, it's, more, oh, no. I think it's more possible than we think it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there's lots of inspiration like Michael Kors and um, God's love New York feeding the people that can't get a meal, you know, that are probably in bed and can't move and yeah. they deliver them, you know, that since 1985, I've just been really inspired yeah. by that. I'd love to go back to New York. That's on my list. Um, next week, I renew my passport. I go to the Gold Coast next week. And oh, nice. um, that I see New York with my passport. Yeah, <laughs> so I want to go. I want to go back there and I want to visit all these kind of places like God's Love, New York. And um, yeah, they just inspire me. Like yeah. um, Tony Robbins feeding a billion people his heart just is amazing and his mind and his soul um so yeah lots of inspirations but even on a daily you know so many people if we just have a little look around are yeah. so inspiring yeah it's true and i think a look, smile i know button. smile smile does a lot smile can change someone's life if you smile at exactly. someone passing by you never know what kind of day they're having and that exactly. they, they can remember that forever you may never find out so, you know because yeah. they're a stranger but I think just the, I think the awareness of that makes you want to smile more. <laughs> exactly. It's contagious. It is. It's a good, <laughs> good kind of contagious. We like it. We like it. <laughs> and I think I call joy contagious too. Joy and kindness. It is. And it, 
they're all like, you know, it, you know, it starts with one person and then it, it's like a repercussion and, and someone else is like, you know what, someone was kind to me, I want to be kind to someone else and then it just keeps growing and growing. And that's yeah. why, you know, that's why it is life changing, world changing, you know, doesn't, it, it doesn't pass. take much. <laughs> pass it on. Pass it inspire on. Inspire one to inspire the next. Yeah, I think it, that that's what it's all about. And if, I, I guess having a focus on it, um, if people can just see it once a day, I think it, um, it feeds the fuel. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I just can't wait to see what, what more this movement does and just in general, yeah. just to see the world a little bit brighter and happier. I mean, it's, it's been tough the last few years. Like it's, it has, it has not been all easy. About, all about self-kindness too, you know, um, that's been my journey through it. It's, it's also helped me be more aware of that, being kind to yourself, you know, taking time out. Um, saying yes to the things you need to, saying no to the things you don't need. Yeah, absolutely. You know, just, just looking after yourself, whether that's a bubble bath or putting the phone down or going for a walk, getting out in nature. I think that's if so we can important. fill up, yeah, I think if we can fill up on that fuel for ourselves, then we can pass that on, and um, that's where the kindness can really spread. Absolutely, we've got to look after ourselves. In that yeah, because then you can you can really give it out. If you're taking care, if you're filling your cup and taking care of yourself, then you have the energy to give it out. Because if you're if you have neglected any of your needs, even if it's a bubble bath or something like, or just taking more time to take that walk outside, because nature exactly. is very healing and and it also clears your mind too. I find that it clears my mind if I'm having a crazy day, and I, even if I take a 20 minute walk or something, or I just to be outside and like you you just feel so much better. And mm -hmm. I, I've learned that too a lot over the last few years is that I was like, what am I neglecting? Like for me, like, what have I not, what have I not done that I could do that will help me be more inspired or help me uh, to help take care of me so that I can take care of others and shine my joy. So that's what the whole kind of shine your joy comes from is you have to find out what it means to you and, and fill your cup first before you can really fully express it to others because you want to be at your, at your best when you do that, yeah. you know, so. Being compassionate to yourself is so important. Yeah. Yeah. And again, it's one yeah. of those things that it's a choice you have to make because it's not easy because we, we can be our own worst enemy sometimes. It's terrible. Exactly. <laughs> it's terrible. Like when you really recognize, you're like, why am I doing this? But it's like, it's, we're, yeah. our, we're our own worst critic. But we, but I think being aware of that's so important still. Like, yes, it's terrible. But if we're aware of it and then we kind of take those steps to like kind of because we're human because we're human absolutely yeah absolutely I find the best best thing for me as soon as I wake up and meditate and then That's get great. up and and go for a walk sometimes the sunrise although the sun's oh. coming up a bit too early now it's like <laughs> five to five. <laughs> oh my gosh that's a little early <laughs> but, yeah I like to meditate first and make that conscious decision about who I want to be today and that it's going to be a great day and um go for that walk get out there and and just get grounded and I find the days that you know maybe that doesn't happen or you need to hit the road at 5 30 right it feels a little bit different but that's where the self-compassion comes in yeah and then we just do it later put it in the diary and I think that's important to just really diarize what yeah. our needs are in amongst everything else yeah, yeah very important my, my blog is kind of my diary in a way that I will that I'm willing yeah. the parts that I'm willing to share a little bit more but you're right about like writing it down because sometimes if, if I've had a tough day sometimes I'm like you know what I just need to write this down just write it down exactly it kind yeah, of releases love... it from you yeah well I love to come back from a walk and journal and That's then awesome. get into the day so you know and and also with joy and kindness I feel that for myself just that little bit of exercise that only has to be gentle and eating really healthy for myself. Yeah. I just find that helps with all of the joy, the excitement for life, the energy. So yeah, Absolutely. it all kind of goes together with the self wellness. It, it really, it really does. One of my favorite, I'm not going to sing it, even though I, my voice is, is on my blog, but um, Whitney Houston's um, song 
um, there's a there's a quote that says, "Learning to love yourself is the greatest love of all." Exactly, and that is on repeat. I don't know why the I, I figured I'd tell you the lyrics first before somehow the title wasn't coming to me, which is hysterical because I'm like a music person. Exactly, but, <laughs> but um, that song really has impacted me, and and seems like it comes back to me on repeat, kind of the same way that there's certain phrases or or like affirmations that you have for the day like I feel like that for me music comes in like that and so that exactly. that, that one seems to be nudging on me it's because I need it because it's like learning to love you like focus on that focus on loving yourself today if, you, if you're feeling crazy go love yourself for a little bit go go spend some time taking care of yourself and and get back on track <laughs> yeah and it's the best way with music I know I often have on repeat Lauren Daigle you say and just let it go and go and yes, an amazing voice. Song. It's just beautiful. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And we all have the we all have our go-tos. We all have our go-to uh, music, you know, if, especially for those I think most of us like music in some shape or form, but we all have our yeah. our kind of go-tos on that or something that that lifts us up or or meditating in the morning. So we all have our processes and and like you said, you know, we know the difference between the days that we chose to make that choice to meditate and the days that we were rushed out the door and you just feel a little different. And that it's yes. just, it's just that conscious awareness that you got, got to take care of me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And then it will fly. Yeah. That's awesome. And yeah. I yeah Faith for me is a big one as well. So I spend time there praying of the morning as well while I walk. Um, yeah, I just think it all it all rolls together beautifully. It really does. Yeah, pray, praying is very important. I know every some of us come from different religions, but prayer yeah. prayer is not you know I, 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 it's 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 very intimate. It's very simple. It's nothing that has to be this grand. It's it's you know it's kind of yeah. like this. I almost feel like it's 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 a little bit telepathic. It's like you're talking to whatever whatever you know <laughs> presence that you believe in, however you define it for, you, for yourself, and and yeah. and and they listen. And there's joy. And, there's, and there's joy in that. There's joy in that because you're releasing the burden of having to deal okay. with it all in, on your own. So that's joy. Yeah. yeah, and I think a lot of us have come back to that um, that sense of prayer and. Um, higher power in God over the last few years, because yeah. we kind of, like, I, I, sh I don't want to say this, we kind of had to, we had such, <laughs> such a, a rough go at it that we really we kind of like pushed into like something that another thing that could bring us comfort and joy. So, yeah. and I, I feel like even, even this past year for me, like I've changed, I've, um, I've connected back to, to self-love and, and prayer, which kind of, mm -hmm. like you said, it goes together and, and it's connected yeah. me god a little bit more so and i guess that that's one of the real positives through it all people were forced to stop yeah in a way. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. That, even though it, like you know there, there was a lot of negative things that happened like that that i think mm -hmm. we we've, we were meant to pause we we're meant to kind of take it in and like go okay well now what do i do <laughs> how can yeah. how can i how can i change my perspective how can i change the way I feel about all this like how can I yeah. keep going forward so it's exactly. really important yeah really important, so that's awesome I think <laughs> we we kind of like ended up covering my last few questions too because we we're talking about kindness like in two parts about being kind oh. to yourself and how that so we kind of covered that too and you did mention a little bit about um some people that have inspired you which is great because I love seeing all those quotes um, all the yeah. different quotes from even Anne Frank. I saw an Anne Frank one at one point, Jennifer Aniston. So we all have different perspectives in life. And so exactly. it, to get all those different definitions of kindness, there is no one way to, per, like, there's no one definition for kindness. It can mean so many things. And so that's why. Exactly. It's so and we all know what it means, what it means for us. Yes. Absolutely. And it's awesome. Yeah. So it's really nice to put the spotlight on it and Absolutely. kindness and joy. Yeah, um, we got yeah. we got we got to keep doing that. We got to keep doing that. Yeah. That's our that's our mission. That's part of our mission. Okay. <laughs> we'll keep in contact. Yeah, I'll absolutely. Have to visit you when I come over. Yeah, I know. We'll have to cross paths. Uh, one of us will come to the other and and, and connect exactly. that way. That'll be great. That'll be amazing. We'll show you. We'll show you Queensland, Australia. 
That'd be awesome. I mean, it's just, I think it's, that's what I've loved so much about this blog that I've had as the people I've connected with, even through the podcast. Some people are people that I have known and maybe haven't connected with. Some are completely new people. And I just love meeting people that way and learning more about, and again, like opening up the definition of joy and opening up my perspective and opening up how we, it's just amazing. So amazing. Exactly. It's a great adventure for you. It is. I love that. (laughs) I, one of my favorite quotes from a, a Pixar movie is adventure is out there. <laughs> from Aqu- <laughs> Have you heard of the Aqu- the uh, balloon house, the uh, movie up Aqu- the Pixar movie? Yes, yes. Yeah. I, I like the, the adventure is out there. One of my favorites. So <laughs> absolutely. You'll have to go and get your passport now. I know. I know. <laughs> it's definitely happening in 2023. So you, you heard it here. Everybody, everybody heard okay. it here in 2023 passport (laughs) absolutely and i intend to get on an international flight in 2023 we know that the holidays are coming up very quickly um and they feel different to me every year it's not the same as when we were kids you know that that the the magic gets lost sometimes i think and life happens we have you know good years we have some years that are more difficult with that whole kindness in mind, how can we approach the holidays? Like, what's your thoughts and how can we approach it differently? What can we, what, what can we bring to it this year? <laughs> what can we bring? Absolutely. Um, I think the joy, being aware of other people, being aware of people that might be on their own, you know, opening our hearts and our houses yeah. um, for people that might need a meal, you know. Just, just being part of um, a family. I know I'm very fortunate. I'll be with my family and um, my 95 year old mum. So that's wow. exciting. That's amazing. I, yeah, I think just being aware of looking outside of ourselves, um, especially this holiday, yes. I think is um, yeah. I think there's joy and kindness in that. Even just a smile to someone might mean something really huge. So I think just Absolutely. being aware that, you know, people around may not have it like you do. And um, yeah, just spread the joy, spread the love. And throw in a little kindness. Throw in a little kindness yeah. for yourself too, right? You gotta gotta Absolutely. Check, check Make in sure you it. look after yourself, fill up. Absolutely. Do all the things to um <laughs> be at your best so that yeah. you can pour it out. Absolutely. Awesome. Do you do any kind of charity work at this time of year? Is there anything special that's tradition for you that you do during this time of year? Probably not since the pandemic demic here, but I right. used to help out on um, with soup kitchens and things oh, nice. on the Gold Coast. Yeah, oh, nice. And nice. that was that was beautiful. Definitely great experience. Get to see all those people and and, and brighten their day for sure. And yeah, they just loved it. You became part of their family. Yeah, absolutely. Isn't that nice how we can all become part of each other's family? You don't have to be, you know, born into a family to to create more family around you with your community. Absolutely. And I think, yeah, I think that's important. I guess that's just something that um, my mom has always been like that. She's always been... I think she planted so many seeds of kindness, my yeah. mum. Yeah. And even now still, you know. Still doing it. She used to it. always just go to the hospital every weekend and just take flowers to everyone. And wow. she was just always kind. Took it, always took a little gift for Christmas. She'd crochet around a hand face washer and oh, wrap wow. it with some soap. Um, just all those beautiful little gestures, I guess, just being aware of people. Yeah, definitely. And like yeah. you said, it can be something like a gift, but it could also just be a smile and just be more aware of like an att- attentive to people that may, you can tell that something's not right. They're not, they're not feeling it exactly. this year, but they're having, they're yeah. having a tough year. So it's, you know, being more yes. aware of that. It's very important, Absolutely. but, um, but I, I think of, of Christmas as something that I wish we could hold on to for longer than just the Christmas season, because I think there's, I, I think we, we elevate the joy around that time, but then I think we, we forget about it sometimes throughout the rest <laughs> of the year, you know, and we're like, oh, yeah. it's Christmas. And, and so I think, I think it should be, I, I think 
it should be something that we always carry with us that that, that ounce of that ounce of extra joy extra magic extra love so absolutely and i think everyone feels so free because it's holiday time there's time yeah. off time with each other yeah yeah Absolutely. And I guess that's just a little reminder to keep building that in every week throughout the year. Definitely. It comes back to the self-kindness and kindness to others. Definitely. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for speaking with me, Wendy. It's It's been a pleasure. It's been so nice to connect to someone from from a, the whole other side of the world, from Australia. <laughs> and, um, you know, like we had said um, earlier, um, you know, there's always that opportunity, like whenever, ne- let me know the next time you're out in the States and I'll let you know the next time I'm, I'm in Australia, it'd be great to c- connect with you in person. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. And it's been a pleasure and all the best for the holidays and love to everyone for the holidays. Yes. So Spread the kindness. Yes, spread the kindness, spread the love. And same to you, Wendy. I hope you enjoy the holiday season. Cherish every moment with your your mom who, you know, has been such an inspiration to you. Um, so uh, Absolutely. Take, take care. And, and I'm to sure you and your family. Thank you so much. And um take care and happy new year. And I'm sure, you know, we'll connect soon. And um we're definitely gonna share the, our interview um before Christmas. So something to brighten oh, wow. up 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 uh, uh people's uh holiday season right before they they celebrate so um but i'll i'll you know let you know once once i'm sharing that (laughs) spread the kindness spread the color spread the joy absolutely (laughs) and and as i say on my blog shine your joy keep shining shine your joy keep on shining